Today I'm doing the first van that I ever kept, which is the Tiamo brand. I was in Medina, Mexico, on Paseo de Montejo, right next to it, next to the Cafe Impala, right down the street on the right, on the turnaround, you walk down the street on the left, there's a cigar place there. It's the only one that I know of in Merida. That's where I bought this cigar from. This is before I started dating my wife. This is about August 17th or August 18th of 2019. This cigar been has significance for me and the reason why I hold on to it is because me and my wife were talking at the time or what, who is now my wife. And I remember thinking in my head, this is this woman's wonderful. She's great. She has all the attributes that I'm looking for. But this cigar band, I remember smoking, walking down Paseo de Montejo in Merida, Mexico, in the Yucatan Peninsula, and I remember all the museums, walking down there, people passing by, and I was just by myself. My wife was working at the time, so I I obviously wasn't with her. I was on myself, and I remember going through all of that in my head, just all of those thoughts in my head basically reassuring myself. Instead of asking for advice or looking for something else, I just, you know, sometimes you have an instinct and you just trust yourself. And that's what I did. I had an instinct and I trusted myself and it's paid off amazing. I don't know if it could have gone any better. It was very hard to get her over here and all that other stuff, which I may talk about in a future video. If you guys want that, let me know down below in the comments and I'll make a video about immigration and all other stuff that her and I had to do. Okay, but this cigar band reminds me of that time of all those thought processes that entire hour that I basically spent with myself. It was a Claro if I remember correctly. Uh, claro, I don't remember off the top of my head because they don't make these because this is a Cuba blend. I don't know if this is made in Cuba, but I don't know if you can buy them in the United States, but they're made in the San Andreas uh, Valley, so San Andreas, Mexico, so I would assume it's San Andreas, okay? Maybe they're blended with Cuban tobaccos. I don't know. I never looked up the make of it. All I do remember is the significance of this and why I kept it. Because that night, we went to a restaurant and they were closing and we were the only ones in the restaurant. And it was really cool and it was really awesome as far as that memory and that memory is attached to this. And I don't know if you guys have memories like that or you keep cigar bands. This is the first one that I ever kept because this is the cigar pretty much that decided for me to either basically court my wife or even my girlfriend. And then I asked her my girlfriend romantically inside of the airport as I was leaving. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that, by the way. As my wife says, that's the, that's the most happiest and, and uh, pissed off I've been at the same time. This cigar band reminds me of that moment. And if y'all have any similar stories, share them down below. And if you want to, tag me in the YouTube video, tag me on Instagram, official fellow gent, and let me know your stories. I love to listen to them. I don't know if any of the rest of you guys do this, but I keep the ones that are important to me. And I do know some people even keep journals with these attached to them. And they write little notes or a paragraph of what was going on, maybe even a book if they want to, or a piece. But that's just why I kept this one. It's the first one that I ever kept. And the next one in the series will be the Opus X that I have. And if y'all have any comments, please leave them down below and please subscribe and y'all have a nice day.